P cores and E cores are types of CPU cores that Intel has been making for a couple years. P cores are performance cores, which are hyper-threaded and have a higher clock speed. E cores are efficient cores, which aren't hyper-threaded and run at a slower clock speed. For example, this CPU claims to have 12 cores and run at 3.6 gigahertz. That's wrong. Amazon, it says it has eight P cores and four E cores. On Intel's website, it says it has 20 threads, a P core speed of 3.6 and an E core speed of 2.7. How you compare CPUs in the past is if you had, let's say an eight core processor and it was hyper threaded, so times two, and it was four gigahertz times four, that would be 64. You do that calculation for all your CPUs and you would compare those numbers. Now what you have to do in this case you have eight P cores times two because it's hyper threaded times 3.6 of the speed. That's 57.6. You take the four E cores, you don't do anything because it's not hyper threaded times 2.7, which is 10.8. So you add those two together and you get 68.4. So it's actually faster than my first example, CPU. For us gamers, we just want P cores, but there actually are benefits to E cores. E cores, besides for saving you a couple cents on your electric bill, there's actually a few games and programs that run better on non-hyper-threaded CPU cores. One of them being Minecraft. The E cores can also run background programs. So there actually is a little bit of a benefit to having a couple E cores in your gaming build. Just remember when you're specking a CPU that there's P cores and E cores. Don't let PC part picker lie to you about a CPU speed. 